Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we will be looking at the life of an extraordinary man from Nagaland, Dr. Talimiran Ao. He was a legendary footballer and a successful physician. But before we get into today's video, if you are also a curious person like me who is interested in short educational videos especially relating to Nagaland, then you have come to the right place because that's what I do and I upload 2 to 3 times a week. So if that's of interest to you, please subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of those weekly uploads. Dr. Talimiran Ao was born on 20th January 1918 in Chunky village of Naga Hills district of undivided Assam. This today comes under Mokokchong district of Nagaland. He was the fourth child and had 11 brothers and sisters. His father was Supongwati Nindangri, the first reverend in the Naga Hills. At three years of age, Talimiran and his family moved to Impur Mission compound near Mokokchun town. In his colony, there was a small field nearby where Talimiran started playing football which was made of old rags. In 1933, Talimiran enrolled in Johad Mission School where he was first exposed to proper football. His skills in football was noticed by both students and teachers. In 1935, Talimiran's father died of typhoid and his dying wish was for Talimiran to become a doctor to serve the Naga people. In 1937, he went to Guwahati to join Cotton College, during which time he joined the largest football club of Assam, Maharana Club. He was awarded the best footballer title in the All Assam Interschool Football Championship of 1937. Till now, he had been playing as a striker in Maharana Club. But after joining Mohan Bagan Football Club in 1943, he was placed as a defender. And along with his two backs, they were so strong that they became popularly known as the Great Wall of China. Later, he went on to become the captain of the Indian football team in 1948 Olympics in London. Keep in mind, this was the first football team of Free India that ever participated in international championship. At that time, India's financial condition was so bad and attention to sports like football was so pitiful that the football team of Talimiran did not even have proper boots to wear in their feet during the London Olympics. So in front of 17,000 spectators, our beloved captain and his team played the Olympic football bare feet wearing only thick socks cut off at the ankles in order to provide some protection and some grip. This got the attention of media and people all across the world and they were ridiculed. When some media persons asked him why his team played barefoot, Talimiran replied, In India, we play football, whereas you play football. This response made Talimiran a very interesting personality in the British media. Even after all this, Talimiran did not forget his father's last wish for him. He rejoined his MBBS course at the Carmichael Medical College in Kolkata and graduated in 1950. He bid farewell to Kolkata and also to Mohan Bagan Football Club. Mohan Bagan offered him a plot of land in Kolkata, but he refused. Talimiran finally returned to Nagaland in 1953 and after which he joined Kohima Civil Hospital as an assistant civil surgeon. He stayed there only and retired as the director of health services in Nagaland in 1978. Dr. Tao passed away in 1998 due to seasonal influenza at the age of 80. He was buried at the Naga Cemetery in Kermahal, Dimapur. He was survived by his wife, two sons, two daughters and eight grandchildren. In 2002, Mohan Bagan honored Dr. T. Ao by creating the Mohan Bagan Ratna Award and giving him a life membership in Assam, an outdoor stadium at Kaliabor, and an indoor stadium at Cotton College have been named after him. In 2009, Union Minister of Mines and Donor inaugurated the first Dr. T. Ao football trophy at the DTSC Stadium in Timapur to encourage and challenge the Nordic youth to excel in both sports and academics. So that is it guys, I hope we have learned and witnessed a great example of achieving success in life. We know that it takes one to be a legend to excel so much at two totally different aspects of livelihood, in this case footballer and doctor. But it still goes on to show that somebody has done it and that it's not impossible to do. Thanks for joining in and I'll see you in the next video.